All right, so what we've got going on here is I've been experimenting with uh, these torsion boxes. I've done a lot of reading on uh, skis and helicopter blades and all sorts of stuff. Found this magical term, torsion box. And at 4 o'clock in the morning, I decided to make some uh, torsion boxes out of folders. And uh, what a torsion box is and how it gets its strength, um, we see here I've got kind of a box. And if you see, uh, it's able to flex and it's able just to change shape. It's not, a, it's not strong at all. And see, when I flex it torsionally, it just, it complies. And what a torsion box is, is you basically take this strong shape. Well, if you see here, see the one thing that this is missing is that it had a piece, a plane here, that would stop this area from changing shape. It would become, um, it would become what you see here, which is a torsion box. And this is a, this is surprisingly strong, right, Riley? It is. It has, it has virtually no torque. You, yeah, it doesn't flex at all. Yeah. It, and when it does move, it, it, it buckles and binds. But until that happens, and we've kind of worn it in so it does it a lot easier. Got a little rip going so on. So basically, it just yeah. prevents the surface of the entire object from, from changing the, shape. From changing shape. Yes. And uh, I also did another one. And this experiment was basically just to see if it needed to be um, square or not. So this was supposed to be kind of a crescent shape. It's more of like a D shape, though, because our, our latest, our third fiberglass prototype was kind of like this crescent shape of the board. And it turned out to be really torsionally strong, more than we expected, and really just strong overall. So this actually is a pretty good torsion box, and is really similar to what you'd find on an aircraft wing or a helicopter blade. Which, which demonstrates the application of torsion boxes or shapes that resist deforming their shape in making, you know, wings for airplanes. Yes. So, at 4 o'clock in the morning, after making this and playing with this, I went on to not sleep very much and come up with ideas on how we can alter torsion boxes. See these lines I was drawing on this thing? in order to make them more compliant when you try to flex them, but still be torsionally strong and still have torsional strength. So it'll have beneficial features like a ski. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, you want your, we don't, we don't want a board that is totally stiff when you step on it and we want it to have some response when you interact with it with your weight. But we don't want the interaction to be torsional flex because then you lose a lot of the ability to turn the board. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's also a stability issue. So. so the real challenge here is to build a board that has zero to no torsional flex, but is very, very flexible. Maybe not extremely flexible, but is capable of flexing. Capable without. of flexing. without Because these, these are not capable of flexing. These are torsion boxes. And the, the thing about a torsion box is it's not flexible in any direction. Yeah, it's, it's, it achieves torsional strength by being completely rigid. So, <laughs> we've set out <laughs> to, to break the torsion box. <laughs> well, <laughs> using some of its benefits, but not all of them. Yes, we want to exclude some of its properties. Which, right. is, which may or may not work. But... We won't know until we try. So yeah.